G'day Carla and Dan, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota giving you the personalized high definition virtual tour of our Mitsubishi ASX in the uh, LS model. Uh, now before I get to the ASX itself, what I would, thought I would do is show you who uh, Pacific Toyota are. So if you haven't been here before, this is us up here in Cairns. Now at Pacific Toyota, we have two premium used car locations. Um, now between the two yards, we stock in excess of about 160 to 180 vehicles. Uh, so at the moment, this is our city yard located at 77 Mulgrave Road. And then if we follow Mulgrave Road, uh, two kilometers back up towards Erbil at 235 Mulgrave Road, um, we have our, uh, our other used car lot up there. Now opposite them are our two brand new showrooms. So we have Toyota and Lexus over there as well as our service and our spare parts department. We also own Hino trucks, opposite lock full drive accessories and Coral Motors. So we are quite a large dealership up here, but um, you're not here to listen to me ramble on, you're here to have a look at the ASX. So without further ado, we'll jump straight into it. Alrighty, so as I sort of mentioned on the phone last night, basically what I'm gonna do is just show you through the entire vehicle. So we're gonna go through all the paint and panel, um, obviously all the interior, all the service history, pretty much everything you'd want to know about the vehicle is if you were standing right next to me. Um, so we've already got the bonnet popped. Um, so what we'll do, we'll jump straight underneath the hood, make sure there's an engine in there. All right. As you can see, nice and tidy under the hood here. So just close that one down and just show you out the front of the bonnet now. Again, nice and tidy up the bonnet there. There's no visible dents that I can see. Um, so paintwork wise, there are a couple of tiny little stone chips just on the front of the bonnet here. Um, more than happy to try and get these touched up for you. Um, Here. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I can see uh, on the bonnet there. Um, so what we'll do, we'll go through the front bar here. All right. Just a couple of tiny little marks just down here and then another one just there as well. So all in all for the uh, the front uh, bonnet and the front guard there, everything seems to be nice and tidy. There are a couple of stone chips. Um, as I mentioned, I, I will see if I can get those touched up for you. That should be no drama at all. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go down the driver's side and just show you down all the panels. Um, so this one here, I'm not gonna worry about because I'm it's, it's quite unique um, uh, with the uh, front guard and the, the rear guard. Um, so I'll demonstrate that one in just a sec, but we'll, we'll focus on the two doors and the rear guard there. Um, so as you can see, everything's nice and straight through all those panels. There's no visible dents, um, nothing's bulging. Everything seems pretty straight to me. So um, we'll move along to the tire and rim. All right, so being the LS edition or LS model, um, you do get a uh, factory two-tone uh, alloy wheel, which is an 18 inch. Um, and they're wrapped in a Goodyear um, high terrain tire or road tire. Um, and that one there, as you can see, has got plenty of tread life left on that. It's almost near new. Um, all right, so what we might do, we might move on to the front guard. So you're probably gonna, you're probably wondering what, what am I gonna show you about the front guard? Why is it so unique? Well, it's not just this guard, it's the, the opposite side, the front guard and the rear guard as well. It's made out of a space age polymer. Um, basically, it's a memory sensing guard. So it allows me to do this now. I'm gonna show you between the guard and the plastic uh, trim here, the the distance, uh, well the gap that I create. So you can see that gap there. Now I'm pushing on that with a fair bit of force. And that just pops straight back out. Now, I'll show you down here, no dent, it's perfect. All right, so basically if you're in a shopping center, um, someone backs into you by accident, now they don't hit you quickly, 
um, but they do back in here. It's just going to pop that in and pop it straight back out. Now, it's not guaranteed. Obviously, they do have a kilometre variant, so it's like 6 to 10 k's. Anything over that, you're probably going to do a bit of damage, but, um, you know, if someone bumps into your car um, with their hip or something, it's not going to dent those, those guards, which is cool. Uh, so what we might do, we'll move on to, obviously, all the uh, paintwork now. couple of little marks just down the bottom here two scratch there's a scratch mark just here another one there these ones here they look like they're just from like a, a ring or something um, they should just buff straight out to be honest they're not through the paint or anything like that which is good so just moving along just got a mark just down the bottom there so it's probably just light scratch marks at the rear here again get a bit of cut and polish on that they should just bust straight out on top of the roof nice and straight work our way through to the rear of the car now a couple of little marks along the back looks like it's from uh, luggage or something like that or or pram or, or whatnot, but again, happy to try and touch them up for you. Uh, other than those marks, everything else is um, you know, nice and tidy. As you can see, you do have reverse sensors across the back, uh, which work in conjunction with the uh, reversing camera just up here, which I'll demonstrate when we get inside the car. All right, so, so inside the vehicle here, you can see that you've got your tire underneath here. That's been put the wrong way up. It's meant to go that way. That looks a bit better. Um, and then you can see that your, your seats fold down as well. Um, so we'll push them back up in a minute and show you through the second row of seats. Um, but all in all, nice and tidy through the back there, which is good. And you've got your parcel shelf on the top there. All right, so work our way now down the uh, passenger side. So again, we'll show you down all the panels this time. As you can see, nice and straight down all those panels. There's no dents. Uh, so paintwork wise, uh, this side seems pretty good to me from what I've seen. Is that a bit of dirt? It's a little mark just here. Other than that mark, well, that's pretty much all I could see. Um, so nice and tidy uh, through, obviously, the passenger side there. So what we might do is we'll show you through the second row of seats. So we'll push these back up. Oops. All right, so now that they're back up, we'll show you through the second row of seats now. So as you can see, all the fabric's intact. Um, there's no rips, there's no stains. Um, everything seems to be nice and tidy through the back there. So that's the uh, door card. All in really good condition, no major damage on that. Um, we'll show the driver's side, or the passenger side at the front. Again, nice and tidy. And then obviously the driver's seat as well. Again, nice and tidy there. All right, so all we might do is, I might just show you how the vehicle, uh, the locking system on it. So obviously with the Mitsubishi, we've got two remote keys here. Um, now, when you lock the vehicle, you'll notice the wing mirrors fold in. Um, now that's an absolute lifesaver, take it from me. <laughs> um, I always forget if I've locked my vehicle or not. Um, but having this on the vehicle um, definitely tells you that you've locked your car because you know your wing mirrors are folded in. When it's unlocked, the wing mirrors fold back out. So it's a cool little one, that one. Um, so what we might do, we'll just jump in the car. 
and run you through all the uh, features inside the vehicle now. Sorry, I did say this was gonna go for 10 minutes. We're probably gonna go over. Um, I'm just trying to show you every aspect that I can of the vehicle. All right, so current kilometers, we have 54,771 K showing on there. Um, so we'll go through all the instrumentals. Um, so down here you have your uh, parking sensors, so you can turn them on and off. If they do annoy you, you can turn them off. Um, and you also have adjustable headlights. So that's a cool little one as well. So basically just adjust the headlights up and down, depending on where you're driving. So if you're on the highway, you'd want your headlights up in the air or higher. Um, because there's less street lighting so you get better vision on the road and obviously if you're in town where there's a, a lot more street lights you can have them uh, lower to the ground because obviously you've got more vision on the road there with those lights so uh, we'll move along uh, obviously all your window controls central locking and then all your side mirror controls now it does have that power fold option just there so you can press that button and those wing mirrors fold in um, make it nice and easy to get in those tight car spots all right steering wheel uh, cruise control over on this side here is pretty self-explanatory for that one um, and then all your stereo controls and then all your Bluetooth controls are just here as well okay so we'll move across into your infotainment system um, as you can see here we have a fair few different settings uh, digital auto broadcast obviously that'll come in handy down in Brisbane uh, major cities only really get that one otherwise it's AM and FM um, you have obviously all your apps. Now your apps, that's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you've got an Android phone or a Samsung or an Apple phone, um, you can plug in your phone and basically most of your apps will display on the screen. So apps such as uh, mobile phone, you'll get satellite navigation, all your music, um, text messages, um, and so on and so forth. Now, you're probably wondering why would I need text messages? Well, um, with the, I guess the Android and the, the car, Apple CarPlay, um, what they designed is um, hands-free talk and text. So um, for, for myself personally, I have an Apple phone. Um, if I receive a text message, what Siri would do is read that message to me and ask if I would like to reply. Now I can verbally say my message back. Um, she'd read it back to me, make sure I'm happy with it and ask if, she, if I'm okay to send it, okay? Now I, I hit send. Um, and Siri would send that message for me. So there's no need for me to pick up my phone and check my messages while I'm driving, not that I should be anyway. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, but yeah, cool little device that one. Obviously, um, someone you know put a bit of time and effort to, um, to sort of tackle how to get people um, to stop picking up their mobile phones. So um, definitely a handy little uh, device to have there. Uh, reverse camera. As you can see there, and you can hear the sensors. So sensors come up in there, and then down here, just turn them off. All right. Um, still, again, also fitted with Bluetooth and USB. Um, so we'll move across uh, into, obviously, air conditioning controls. They're pretty self-explanatory. So temperature, fan speed, and then your direction. Two USB ports, traction control, and then a 12 volt auxiliary port with a uh, fake cigarette lighter in there. Does not work. All right. Um, now your gearbox, so you park, reverse, neutral, and drive, uh, DS, and then your low gear uh, in there as well. Okay. Service history. So the one uh, really great thing about Mitsubishi is you only have to service them every 12 months or every 15,000 kilometers. So um, only having having to service the vehicle once a year definitely comes in handy. Um, makes it nice and cheap for you. As you can see there, first service at 15, again at 32, and then again at 51. Um, so like a pretty good service history there. I believe it's only sort of missing one service there. Um, other than that, like next service not due till 60,000 Ks. Um, all in all, a, um, you know, apart from a couple of little marks outside the vehicle and whatnot, the, everything else seems to be in uh, really good condition. Um, the vehicle has been heavily reduced. Um, as we sort of uh, mentioned last night, um, the vehicle was originally, uh, so if you can see that in the window there, 19990. Um, and has been reduced down to 17,990. So, uh, you know, a um, a bargain um, of an ASX. You know, 
obviously uh, in really good condition, um, reasonably low Ks, uh, and it's an NLS, which is, um, you know, they're hard to come by as well. So, but I'll let you have a watch of the video. If you do have any questions though, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Um, but uh, oh yeah, I look forward to chatting with you further. Cheers.